everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, September the 30th. And we have the Top Lift Staja and Trent System by BM Modding and Wopster. 49.75 megabytes to download. It's a pack of uh, five pieces, three, well, it's, it's a hook lift trailer system which we have um, two different uh, three a three axle uh, trailer two axle trailer and and three different um, attachments I guess you could say two slurry spreaders oddly enough and a tipper so first of all let's have a look at uh, where we'll find them in the store so the trailers will be found here in trailers and there's the TS2257 which I believe these are both seven slots and the TS3067 40,065 so you have basically the short one which would which you have some tire options like so pretty standard there and you have the longer one with some tire options as well pretty standard there and a license plate of course um, and then the back for it uh, there it is the Trent tank ten thousand dollars pretty cheap for a forty five thousand up to forty five thousand liters of uh, product that you see down there no grapes of course the grapes were uh, previously from a previous mod oddly enough but uh, let's have a look at it so we have the standard 35,000 liter capacity 40 and 45 so pretty nice not a lot extra for the 45 two grand so that's pretty sweet uh, we have a dark logo or a logo bright so white or black and a color you can choose any of these colors that you like even purple like I have out there or bright red like so and the two slurry tanks will be found under well slurry tanks and here we are the uh, Trent tank Octo uh, 17,500 liters or up to 21,000 liters of capacity we have the dark and white white and black logo main color is going to change the frame piece and the design color is uh, what is the design color Oh, I bet you it's the motor. Yes. So it's the little pump, the pump motor there at the back. <laughs> right. And that's it for color options. 500 bucks for the frame color change, which, uh, which gives you all the colors. Uh, let's make it something that isn't one of the other colors. Or you could make it gray too. Or well, let's see, gray, kind of a darker gray. Well, nothing that really matches the galvanized look. But anyways, so uh, thirty-four thousand for a twenty-one thousand liter tank, and then we have a jumbo tank, Trent tank, for forty-two thousand dollars up to twenty-five thousand liters. These both spread at twelve meters at ten miles per hour slurry and digestate only 20 25 20 or 25,000 liters there it is again the white or dark logo uh, main color is going to be the frame piece make that white there we go and the design color is going to be the tank itself very nice that you can uh, color the tank whichever color well, whichever one of these colors you would like. Ooh, that's bright. There we go. Poop color. All right. Uh, 49,000 
dollars for that right okay so now that we have that all settled out let's hop in one of these uh tractors there we go and hook up let's start with the tipper trailer first i would recommend that this one was go on the three um axle as you can see the rear axle turns and i have noticed it is quite tippy very tippy uh, i have rocks in here uh, that kind of accentuates it but yes extremely tippy so be very careful when uh transporting now remember if you are emptying remember to a uh, backing up it seems to be the wheels turn when backing up so it's might be a little bit weird trying to back this thing up straight those rear wheels turn when you're reversing it is it is not a pleasant thing uh, make sure you have the attachment uh, highlighted when you're going to empty tip side back grain door so we have grain door which is that and back so let's watch how fast it empty it starts emptying right away seems to empty pretty quickly too that's very nice yeah that's good i like it right uh lights signals no beacons now remember this is a trailer so we're going to show you it's a it's a uh, it's a hook hook lift type trailer so uh, let's highlight the trailer l1 and x is going to move the trailer off the or move the attachment off the trailer and once is it once it's down you can press x and it will detach oops now let's make sure we detach the actual unit right and then l1 and x will retract the hook right so if we put the hook back so any any of the attachments with this pack will work interchangeably notice that i said with this pack because there are other hook lift and and i can't remember the other name for it um and we're going to talk about that in a moment as well we're just going to show driving up to the buy anything point here that uh, it will take all these different items that I just blasted by by so uh, we have that uh, not unfold I want to unhook it because we're going back over here now operating the slurry tanks now filling it uh, filling it at any of the places that you would normally fill slurry at now this one the green tank uh, we're looking at here you need to open so uh, I know there's a lot of things going on here I have precision farming on but L1 and left on your d-pad will open and close that that top so that top needs to be open in order for you to fill it right so you can fill it with slurry or digestate it will hold either or so there we go we got 20,000 liters in this one it's on the smaller tank or the smaller trailer it is quite heavy it seems and it also very tippy so be careful as you come up to the field it's just pretty much standard as anything uh, make sure you have the tank highlighted l1 and square will turn it on and there we go like so a worker will use it like so as you can see and the turn just will just fire him right now so that you can see that yes it does work they've been working this field quite efficient at it no problems there if we oh that's for later we'll talk about that in a minute <laughs> leave it up to me to find something a little bit different now this is the other tank it doesn't have an open or closed lid 
just press uh, oh, uh, let's see here there we go slurry or digestate we can put digestate in this one this one's a 21,000 liters and real basically it's exactly the same as the other one just a little different design and the capacity is a little different now if we go over here don't don't uh, don't mind that uh, semi over there just uh, don't pay any attention to that don't mind us um, and again same thing uh, highlight that turn it on as per usual go forward same spread width same speed hire a worker no problems whatsoever with the worker right fine all is good right um for the most part yes uh let's go down no that not that one is it this one yes that one now this is the um tatra itr it runner that's what they're called it runner uh attachments uh, this did go on this this is <clears throat> This is a mod, I will, uh, it's the Phoenix IT Runner Edition. I do believe it's by Rodley Christie One. I will pin that information in the description. And it has, it is a hook lift truck or an IT runner truck. And this uh, well, looks like the, uh, the weight on the front is a little bit excessive. That's probably why it's going slow these tanks um, seem to be very heavy now if I go over uh, let's go over to a spot where that's not fertilized you can run this manually no problem as I will show you turn around here L1 and square yeah no problem it works okay that's that's fine however uh, you, a worker will not work it on this unit. And I will show you what happens when I press circle to hire a worker. It does that. So, kind of odd. And it's, oh, and then he's going to drag it like that. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, let's stop that. Just stop that right now. Um, so that's not ideal, obviously. I'm not sure why he had to drop it and then try to spread slurry. So that's not really that's not really going to work for. Oh, well, that's not going to work for the slurry. But let's just for the sake of trying stuff out go over to the uh, or let's just buy one it'll be easier uh, trailers right trailers and it should be just over by the hook lifts here uh, IT runner etc there it is so let's get the 45,000 liter one because we go big or we go home. Right, so let's back up and hook this one up and s make sure that, or just see. Okay, so far so good. It's loading up okay. <coughs> right. Okay, so far it looks pretty good. Uh, let's put some, uh, and it's not too tippy either, actually, so that's working fine. Let's, uh, well, let's abuse it here a little bit, or a lot, and fill it with rocks, and see where we're at. Uh, looks like, yeah, it, uh, matter of fact, um, it can't handle it can't handle the weight so you can see the tires have completely flattened um, so of course that's rocks 
but um, it was kind of doing that with the oh yeah it's really it's like it's it's the most heaviest thing it's ever had it's like no you're breaking me stop all right so the elephant in the room um, so I tried a different IT runner back this is um, not part of the oh it's starting to, it's letting me move will I be able to get over here without it uh, it was just absolutely going bananas before seems to have settled down let's see if we can even turn it on yeah let me turn it on will it whoa okay worker doesn't like it obviously um, so I would not oh dear uh oh um <laughs> that that's all right that's not good um so what happened there was um actually uh let us uh let me show you i do have another um i t runner um the a m two one twenty one i t r it's pretty much just a standard it's a semi hookup type uh i t runner platform and I just used um, basic truck like that. Whoa! So that's what this is. It's uh, it's a basically you call it a generic. It didn't come with anything. It's just um, a semi IT runner hook lift um, unit. And so I tried hooking up that slurry tank to it, and it just went, um, pretty much went bonkers. So, um, shall we try the other slurry tank with it? Perhaps, and we'll, sh we'll see if it works with the other slurry tank, because it did not like, uh, it did not like the green one at all, at all. As you can see, it has, uh, it has had a, a, a very bad a very bad reaction um, it's, <laughs> it's extremely bad reaction to hiring a worker um, and launched itself nearly out of the map so let's um, let's just give this one a try because well I want to see what happens more than anything and so we'll deploy the uh, same same kind of thing retract arm just deploy arm very simple it has this one works literally works with every other um, IT runner hook lift that I've tried it with this is pretty much why I have it so here it is it's hooked up oh it seems to be behaving itself let's load it okay so far so good it seems to like this one right okay doesn't seem to be overweighted or uh, you know crying because it's too heavy or anything like that turn it on okay that works does a worker work oh no okay well mmm Um, I'm going to say don't hire a worker with that particular IT runner. Um, yes. That was not good. All right, so, uh, ooh. We got, <laughs> we got a lot of, uh, whoop, nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's, um, let's regroup here. Oh, not that one. Um, so, uh, have you ever heard the expression, uh, use only as directed? yeah that that tends to go with medical type of uh, things but uh, very much true when it comes to the top lift stagia and trent system by bm modding and wapster 49.7 by megab megabytes use only as directed or you could see some very bad reactions um 
to the its use so please only use the trailers that come with it and the tanks um, I haven't tried other IT runner tops on these I don't know if they're gonna work or not but uh, um, what, attempt at your own risk is another saying that probably or use at your own risk if you attempt to use anything outside this pack um, slot counts five three four seven so five three and four are the the attachments seven slots each for the uh, trailers thanks for watching I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now